Welcome back to Brick of Fit. <laughs> and, and on this review, we're going to be taking a look at the RAF tractor designed by Simon Jones. We'll give you the history, we're going to give you a look at the kit, uh, the minifigure, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. Here it is the RAF tractor with the bomb carts, which is right there. So, yeah, um, pretty exciting stuff. Got some engine detail in there, got a nice printed grill there. Got RAF logo or the RAF uh, letters right there engine Which detail is printed not a sticker yes. there are no stickers in this kit yes and then uh, some other printed markings which I can't quite make out there and then also a gold piece I guess to represent something in the engine yes I would assume so the pipe going up steam right the exhaust pipe yeah the exhaust pipe um, wheels bigger in the back because that's what it looked like in the tractor got a steering wheel there and uh, those are gear shifts right yes and then you can pop the minifigure out flip it up and I guess work on the engine like that so yes. that's pretty cool bomb carts you got pretty cool bombs do you know what bombs these are supposed to be I do not well, anyway they'd be really cool bombs that go boom probably and, and then give Hitler a, t a headache Ooh, stinky anyway but also this didn't come with the kit but Simon the guy which we'll talk about him in a minute she gave us a hurricane engine I believe that you could fit on there and um, so I don't know if he's ever gonna release instructions with that or anything but it's still really nice and I wanted to throw it in here very cool and it fits on the bomb cart for two issues that I could see with this which not, not major that's a different piece than what comes with the instructions. In the instructions, you get this piece, and it's just, if you, you can't like push it all the way in. It's hard to explain, but I did have to change out that piece to make it run pretty you, smooth. You need a little more clearance between the wheel and the body of the tractor for it to yeah. roll freely. So, so um, that was a quick, easy fix. It's one thing to love a kit, but it's another to know the man behind the kit. So in this case, it's Simon Jones. He's from England, and he's been a Brickmania freelance designer. We have an actual video out with him, an interview of his mock that he brought to World War Brick and uh, about his kits and stuff. So yeah, check that video out. But Dave, do you want to tell us some more about Simon? Highlights of World War Brick for us, besides meeting all the like-minded enthusiasts and whatnot, was getting to meet uh, many of the designers of the kits and in Simon Jones we met a designer and a half not only a, a great guy but a real character who has a real love for English history and one of the things that he brings to the table is that perspective it doesn't identify the type of tractor we're looking at here but it appears to be a Fordson F-O-R-D-S-O-N tractor and that, as you might suspect, was the brand name of general purpose tractors and trucks manufactured by our own Ford Motor Company in the UK. Um, when they first came out in 1917, they were kind of the Model T for tractors. It was a very reliable uh, piece of equipment and it sold for a reasonable price. During the war, they were manufactured in England, over 136,000 of them produced, and you could find them pretty much on every RAF airfield throughout basically the world during World War II. So a whole lot of history here, really fascinating, and Women's Auxiliary Air Force, or the WAAF for short. And this is, uh, the, these women basically kept the RAF in the air during World War II. And there was over, over a quarter of a million of them who actually served. In 1945, there were over a quarter of a million women who served in the WAAF. And they did all kinds of things. They basically uh, worked to build, design, and maintain England's weapons of war and uh, they uh, participated in 100 different trades. They took pride in their work. Many received commendations for their gallantry. One, uh, one woman in particular, uh, a, a plane came in and uh, the bomb went off and it was a crash and she threw herself on the body of the RAF pilot in order to protect him. Uh, so just amazing things. They were respected and admired by the public and pretty awesome. So one of the things they did 
was uh, keep the RAF pilots and bombers flush with uh, ammos and bombs by running our tractor and the cart trolleys. All right, so more about the minifigure. Very, very cool 360 printing as always. A beautiful 3D printed hat there. Not sure what that is. And a but hair piece too. And a hair piece. Well, it's it's all same, but uh, yes, hair is coming out of the hat. Very, very cool. This Under the was, arm printing. This was designed by Drew. BKM Drew to be exact on BKM Instagram. BKM Drew, that's right. The one, the only. Yes, so he doesn't do a lot for Brickmania, but he has done a couple things, and I think he did an awesome job on this one as well. All right, so that was the RAF tractor review. Overall, I'd get this set probably a 9.5 out of 10. The only issue was those wheels, but it was an easy fix. And uh, yeah, looks awesome, rolls pretty good, bomb carts are great, and also thanks to Simon for genuinely making our day and our uh, weekend at World War Brick, but also for giving us this free cool engine. So, yeah. Absolutely. 170 pieces, retails for 100 bucks, and as of the time we are recording this, there were 24 left in stock. Yeah. So if you want one... Get them while you can. Get them while you can. Get them while they're hot. Don't wait till they're not. Alright. Well, we'll see you guys on the next one, and goodbye.